Family and friends of graduates, faculty, staff, and administrators, welcome and good afternoon. My name is Kelly Long, and I am privileged to serve as the Associate Dean of the College of Liberal Arts. It is my distinct pleasure to welcome you to our commencement celebration honoring the 2016 graduating class in the departments of art and art history and music, theater, and dance at Colorado State University. Please stand as Dr. Rebecca Phillips conducts the Colorado State University Wind Symphony and music student Vanessa Doss leads us in singing our national anthem. The Colorado State University Wing Walker Drill Team will present the colors. Please be seated. The members of the platform party honor us with their presence today. I will ask each person to stand when his or her name is announced and remain standing. While each person in the platform party is important to members of the graduating class, I ask that you please hold your applause until the names of all of the members of the platform party have been announced. Dr. Rick Miranda, Provost and Executive Vice President of Colorado State University. Dr. David Gilkey, Interim Vice Provost for Undergraduate Affairs. Dr. Eric Johnson, Assistant Professor of Music Education. Professor Suzanne Ferris, Chair of Art and Art History. Dr. Stefan Weiler, Associate Dean for Research. Dr. Dan Goebel, Director of the School of Music, Theater, and Dance. Professor Price Johnson, Director of Theater. Professor Jane Suslarski Harris, Director of Dance and Dr. Ann Gill, Dean of the College of Liberal Arts. Please join me in recognizing our honored guest. Please be seated. Graduates, you are part of a liberal arts community which includes more than 5,000 currently enrolled students and over 41,000 living alumni. 
Because of the size of this year's College of Liberal Arts graduating class, we are holding two commencement ceremonies. In two and a half hours, your colleagues in humanities and social sciences will be graduating in a commencement ceremony in Moby Arena. Masters and Doctor of Philosophy degrees in the College of Liberal Arts were awarded at the graduate school ceremony which was held yesterday. Today, the faculty, your family, and your friends are gathered to celebrate your achievements and award you the bachelor's degree. So that we may express our pride in your accomplishments, would all members of the graduating class of 2016 please stand. Congratulations. Please be seated. The liberal arts faculty are dedicated and have devoted their lives to scholarship, research, and artistry, outreach activities, and most importantly, teaching, mentoring, and motivating students. Will the members of the faculty, including those on the platform, please stand and receive our appreciation for all that you have done for this graduating class. Please be seated. Graduates, as we celebrate your graduation, we also recognize some special accomplishments of members of your class. The College of Liberal Arts is pleased to honor those students who have earned teacher licensure by completing an approved academic degree program and professional education requirements, including student teaching. Students who have earned teacher licensure can be identified by the powder blue cords they wear today. Would graduates who, be, who will be licensed to teach in elementary, middle, and or high school please stand and be recognized. Please be seated. A significant number of students have enriched their education by completing requirements for a program of study beyond the major. Will all students who have completed a second major or minor please stand and be recognized? Please be seated. Colorado State University is dedicated to enhancing international educational experiences as a means to cultivate understanding and friendship among nations. As an institution, we encourage students to engage in education abroad during their undergraduate years. So too, we benefit by welcoming international students who have chosen to make the college their academic home. Will all students who studied abroad during their time at CSU, and all international students who are graduating from the College of Liberal Arts, please stand and be recognized. Please be seated. A first generation college student is one whose parents have not gained a bachelor's degree. An important aspect of Colorado State University's mission is providing access to education so that a wider community of students may experience the empowerment and transformative power of college education. The success of first generation students in our college and our university is a point of pride for all of us. As a first generation student and faculty member myself, I am pleased to ask all first-generation faculty and students in the graduating class to stand and be recognized.
Please be seated. Next, we pay tribute to those graduates who are initiates of national honor societies, including, but not limited to, Phi Beta Kappa, Phi Kappa Phi, Golden Key, and Mortarboard. Will the members of national honor societies please stand and be recognized? Please be seated. The University Honors Program invites outstanding students to participate in its program of academic excellence. Students who have completed the Honors Core Curriculum and a Senior Honors Thesis while maintaining a minimum 3.5 grade point average receive the designation of University Honors Scholar. Students who have completed an in major honors curriculum and senior honors thesis while maintaining a minimum 3.5 grade point average receive the designation of discipline honors scholar. Students graduating with honors can be recognized by the green gowns they wear. Will all candidates for honors scholar please rise so that we may applaud your achievements. Please be seated. Colorado State University recognizes the highest academic achievement of today's degree recipients by awarding their degrees with distinction. The candidates for graduation with distinction are wearing gold gowns, or in some instances, green gowns with gold cords. Students graduating with distinction at Colorado State University have earned a minimum of 60 credits at this institution. Those graduating cum laude constitute approximately the top 6% of the class with a GPA of 3.78. Those designated magna cum laude constitute approximately the next 3% of the class with a GPA of 3.91. Those graduating summa cum laude constitute approximately the top 1% of the class with a GPA of 3.98. Will all candidates, summa, magna, and cum laude, please stand and be recognized. <laughs> please be seated. It is now my great honor to introduce the Dean of the College of Liberal Arts, Dr. Ann Gill, who will deliver the charge to the class. This is an emotional commencement ceremony for me because we're all graduating. You're moving on to the next stage of your life after your undergraduate degree, and I'm soon to be a retired old lady. <laughs> so it is with both affection and gratitude that I share today's commencement celebration with all of you. I hope you've come to love this place as much as I love it. Of course, where my love comes from is all of you, plus everybody who has crossed this platform before you. You've truly been a joy. You know, you visual and performing arts people are sort of a special breed of cat. <laughs> Whenever I walk into the visual arts building, I always can count on encountering two things. One is amazing, evocative art on the walls, in the display cases, once even on the floor. <laughs> and the other thing that I can count on is people with smudges. Smudges on your clothes, smudges on your fingers, and sometimes even on your faces. <laughs> then when I walk into the University Center for the Arts, I almost always hear in the distance a single instrument and music someone is practicing. And there's something different about the words that I hear in your hallway. Not the kind of muffled, muttered words that I hear in all the rest of the university hallways, but the words in your hallways are projected. 
performed, every once in a while even sung. And once, a person walking toward me suddenly did a leap in the hallway. And then, gracefully and with absolutely no indication that leaps were anything out of ordinary, went right on her way. <laughs> so not only have I loved walking through your buildings, but you visual and performing arts students have taught me important things. You've opened my eyes to layers of beauty and meaning. You taught me not to settle for the initial viewing or hearing, but to look at and to listen to things in their complexity, and then to think about them and replay them in memory. You introduced me to music, theater, dance, and art that I hadn't experienced before. And <clears throat> just a little over a week ago, should there be any cast member from Reefer Madness the Musical, you told me that, or taught me that I was a little too old to be hip. <laughs> However, the provost was sitting next to me, and I can assure you he's still hip. <laughs> Kidding aside, my point is perhaps best stated by some lyrics from Wicked by Stephen Schwartz. Because I knew you, I have been changed for good. So my official job at your commencement ceremony is to deliver a charge to class, and it's truly an honor to do that. I begin by exacting a promise from each one of you. Promise me that you will never, not at your commencement parties today, not in casual conversation in the future, and certainly not in a job interview. Promise me you will never apologize for your arts degree. I don't care what your thinks he is hilarious uncle says this afternoon about a degree in the performing or visual arts, but he's wrong, way wrong. All sorts of companies in the... <laughs> All sorts of companies in the world in general need creative, intelligent people. So my advice when somebody asks you about your degree, tell it and sell it, baby. Tell it and sell it. <laughs> you know, the world that's facing you is incredibly different than the one that I came up in. I've been 36 years at this place. The other day, I read that your generation will probably be in jobs about four years before you change. That's an extraordinary difference, an astounding change. In fact, it made me think of another quote, this one by Kurt Vonnegut, who said, we have to be continually jumping off cliffs and developing our wings on the way down. That's good news. You are uniquely and wonderfully prepared to do that. This rate of change of transition that you're going to see in your lifetime, it will require being nimble. It will be, require learning on the fly, as in developing some wings on the next cliff that you have to jump off of. It will require being able to see connections between things that a lot of people don't see. You have extraordinary creativity. You have a great work ethic. You're good at working together, but you're also good at working by yourselves. You're good at memorizing things and you're uniquely adaptable to change. So, tell it and sell it, my young friends. Wear your art degree with pride. You also have been wonderful university and community citizens. You have shared your individual art with us. You've made our day better. You've made our lives and our outlook on life more positive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I suspect there have been a few uh, little indiscretions along the way. That party or parties at your house may have been a little too loud and lasted a little too long. I'm also fairly positive that you made one or two truly dumb choices over the past few years. <laughs> I don't know too many people in their youth who did not. But those and all your other indiscretions that neither I know your mother wants to know about, um, they pale in significance in comparison to your performances and your art, the things that have been such a gift to the rest of us. 
And so I hope that you, for the rest of your lives, will use your talent to be wonderful citizens in your various communities. Pay it forward, give back whatever positive directional metaphor you like. My point is, continue to make a difference. Continue to be good citizens. And one more thing, and I need you this damn hat. <laughs> One more thing, and I need you to listen carefully because this comes from the bottom of my heart. When you engage in self-reflection, you know those questions like, am I good enough? Am I smart enough? Am I talented enough? Am I good looking enough? Am I loved? When you ask those questions that are central to your self-worth, please promise me that you will never doubt yourself because you absolutely are enough. And if anybody tries to tell you differently, you send them to me and you warn them that I'm armed with a cane because <laughs> nobody throws my rams off of their game. Thanks. So this is my charge to this class. Take your arts degree and tell it and sell it. Be good citizens, make a difference in your communities, and never doubt who you are or what you can become. Then I have one final request, or maybe, maybe it's more of a challenge. You're now joining me in the ranks of Colorado State University alumni. And so I think we ought to stay in touch with the alma mater. Stay in touch with those faculty members that made such an extraordinary difference in your lives. Stay in touch with other alumni, join the Alumni Association, come back to campus to visit. And when you're established in your careers, maybe you can provide an internship or some other opportunity for a Colorado State student who's back here. And at some point, if you should develop a nice financial little cushion, maybe you could give a scholarship to one of our current students. You, while you've been here, have helped make Colorado State University the great place that it, that it is. So let's keep it rolling, Rams. Now, there is one bit of unfinished business to which I need to attend. It is my great privilege to present the candidates for graduation in the College of Liberal Arts. They have completed all requirements for the baccalaureate degree that have been established by the university, the college, and their departments. The faculty council has recommended to our governing board that these students receive the bachelor's degrees. So will all candidates for bachelor's degrees from the Department of Art and Art History and the School of Music, Theater, and Dance please rise. I am honored to welcome to the podium the Colorado State University Provost and Executive Vice President, Dr. Rick Miranda, who will confer the degrees. Thank you all. Well, take a deep breath. You won't hear this twice. On behalf of and with the authority of the Board of Governors of the Colorado State University System, I hereby confer the bachelor's degree on each of you, together with all of the rights, privileges, and responsibilities appertaining thereunto. Congratulations, Rams. You know, that was it, you know, that was it. <laughs> Please be seated. And I know this day is, is about you, but I just want to take one minute to uh, thank Dean Gill for uh, all of her years of service to uh, Colorado State University, and in particular, her service to our students, represented here in the culminating class of her deanship here at CSU. Uh, we were deans together for many years, in the past seven or eight years, we've worked together in the administration, and there is nobody on this campus more respected than Ann Gill, more uh, 
uh, beloved by her students. And there's nobody more intensely devoted to our students than Ann Gill. So I want to, on behalf of the university, I, this probably is the, the last big event that Ann and I will be at together. Uh, and so I want to thank her for everything she's done for all of us, including for all of you students. So thanks very much, Ann. Here's your hat, too, by the way. <laughs> I was worried there that for a minute you were recreating a scene from Reefer Madness. <laughs> which was an experience. I, mean, I don't know which of us were blushing more during the, the, the third scene there. Okay. Thank you very much. And uh, let me give the podium back to Dr. Long. Kelly? The marshals will now escort the graduates to the platform to be recognized individually and receive their diploma covers. I am sorry that due to the number of graduates coming up to the stage, we ask that you please, in the audience, not block the aisles. Dr. Eric Johnson will announce the graduates' names individually. Graduates, to honor all members of your class, we ask that you please remain here in the Lori Center ballroom until the entire ceremony is completed. Thank you. Morgan Lindsay Beerbaum. Nicholas Clark Walton. Nanette Kathleen Bertoni. Stetson Kyle Hamilton. Colin Victor Ross. Taylor Charles Hare. Matthew Thomas Pintaro. Nicholas Jerome Morell. Lindsay Ann Jason. Devin Victoria Miyazaki. Cameron Michael Kinchin. Colin Andrew Smith. Gabrielle Elise Mutan Kenetumuth. Kendra Raylene Keeley. Hyeen Leong. Nicolette Ashley. Tisoin. Marie Gabrielle De La Torre. Brittany Caitlin Price. Madison Rosemary Funk. Haley Kate Ladusich. Peyton 
Megan Heitke. Patricia Elizabeth Yarez. Stephanie Ann Luthi. Andrea Morgan Anthony. Adam S. Maxwell. Samuel Beldarama. Teresa Renee Miller. Samantha Marie Leach. Tiffany Nicole Trotter. Jenna Ray Lewis. Nicole J. Stuum. Jenna Marie Michaud. Chelsea Ashton Conrad. Hannah Nicole Thompson. Rachel Christine Scutcliffe. Ryan Howerter. Travis Neil Catan. Samantha Antoinette Beck. Amanda May Sward. Sarah Ann Ashbaugh. Kendall Rose Kipley. Benjamin Joseph Stanford. Alden Matthew Weisfeld. Grace C. Stamps. Kayla Moore. Emilia Genevieve Riviera. Francisco Javier Ramirez Mercado. Sebastian G. Smith. Tegan M. Landry. Christine Marie Yardino. Chandon Marie Hammersmith. Allison Rose McGinnis. Jackson James Harrington Connolly. Angela Lynn Corder. <laughs> Carolyn Stern. <laughs> Kaylee Ann Cafechain. My apologies. <clears throat> Catherine Marie Clonan. <laughs> Kate Erin Knapp. Jordan Lavanda Tate. Whitney Paige Bontrager. Rebecca Danielle Holden. Ash W. Mardinelli. Rochelle Suzanne Peeler. And now the graduates from the School of Music, Theater, and Dance, graduates in music. Garrett Christopher Ching. <laughs> Vanessa Ashley Doss. Angela Adelina Fitzsimmons. Kirk Romero Provost. 
Chloe Spry Patrick. Spencer Maxwell Poston. Megan Danielle Blanton. Anna Elizabeth Bose. Kaylee Marie Tenbarge. Allison Jane Allum. Emily Grace Kursky. Yuri Makihara. Shakira Aspen Johnson. Eric Michael Dinas. Emily P. Stewart. Stephanie Ruth Rhodes. Stephanie Teresa Kaiser. Rebecca Ann Conwell. Marissa J. Furl. John Houston Head. Ashley Marie Yonda. Caitlin Ariel McDonald. Eli S. Johnson. Sarah K. Schmidt. Lisa Michelle Baker. Logan Quixel Gannon. Amanda Marie Saraba. Rachel Darlene Heather. Claire Christiane Sims. Marissa Brian Rudd. Justin Alexander Little. Tyler Vipond Adamthwaite. Brian Craig Sanders. And now the graduates in theater. Julia Lee Barnes. Jacob Thomas Brooks. Jonathan David Burns. Mackenzie Lynn Cunningham. Evelyn K. Hellman. Jack Alexander Kraus. Sean Michael O'Reilly. And now the graduates in dance. Megan Emily Adams. Lindsay Nicole DeRejo. Shannon Virginia Henderson. Bonnie Jane Thompson. Graduates, your family and friends have supported you in so many ways leading up to today. I'd like to ask all the family and friends gathered here to please stand so the graduates can express their love and appreciation.
banner carriers, would you please post your banners? This commencement ceremony would not have been possible without the efforts of Colleen Timothy. My appreciation as well for the excellent service of the marshals, Dr. Bonnie Jacoby, Dr. Patrick Fahey, Dr. Don Grapes, Dr. David Reap, and Professor Corey Seymour. Thanks to the excellent job announcing by Dr. Eric Johnson, to the interpreter services, to the Wing Walker Drill Team for presenting the colors. My sincere appreciation to the Lori Stender and facility staff for turning the ballroom into a celebration. And at this point in every liberal arts commencement ceremony, I give a shout out to the sound and video people. They listen to commencement speeches for two straight days. <laughs> Deserves hazard pay. And finally, I would like to ask the members of our amazing Wind Symphony, the conductor, Dr. Rebecca Phillips, and the vocalist, Ms. Vanessa Doss, please stand up and take a bow. Bravo. Now, will everyone please stand and join Ms. Stoss and the new graduates of Colorado State University in singing our alma mater. The words are on page one of your program. Will the members of the audience and the faculty please be seated? Graduates, I, like a few of you, am not much of a rule follower, so if you would like to, now would be the time to toss those hats. Please gather your hats and be seated. The banner carriers will lead the recessional. Next will be the platform party, followed by the faculty. Graduates, please remain seated until the marshals ask your row to leave. I'd like to ask the family and friends to remain seated until the graduates have exited. Once that's done, if you'd like to come back and take pictures, you're absolutely welcome to. Thank you all for attending the College of Liberal Arts commencement celebration. And to the Liberal Arts class of 2016, Fare thee well, dear hearts, fare thee well.